So in today's video, what I'm going to show you guys is I'm going to show you guys how to patch DWM when a patch doesn't exactly work right. Now, a couple of days ago, one of my subscribers, they mentioned in one of my comments that they played around with DWM, but sometimes, you know, patches do fail on them and they don't fully understand how to fix the problem, right? So I thought in today's video, I'll go ahead and I'll show you guys how to do this. Not only am I going to show you guys how I, I personally do this in NixOS, but I'm going to show you in Gen 2 as well. I'll, I'll just cut the video and we'll flip over to Gen 2. But the reason I want to show you in both distributions is simply because the way that you make and make install here on NixOS is a little bit different than how you do it on a traditional Linux distribution. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into the terminal and we'll begin. Now for some of these patches, I'm only going to install like one or two patches. This is not how to patch the hell out of DWM. Um, instead, this video is really aimed to show you how to fix DWM when a specific patch doesn't work, right? All right, so let's go ahead. Now, this is a fresh copy of DWM. This has no patches um, on it at all. And let's check the patches to make sure that I have some patches ready to go. So DWM. Okay, so I have an auto start patch here. What I want to do, though, is I want to go ahead and download a uh, patch that I know for sure should break. And the patch that I'm thinking off the top of my head that should break is vanity gaps. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you guys the Suckless um, website. And then we'll download the vanity gap patch and... I'll show you guys how I would patch this. All right, so we're over here on the Suckless website. So the patch that's, that I'm thinking about is the Vanity Gap patch. So go to DWM here, and then I will go to Patches. And we can scroll all the way down, and there's Vanity Gaps right there. Now, if you don't know what Vanity Gaps is, all Vanity Gaps does is allows more, just more gap control than a typical uh patch like full gaps and stuff like that okay so it has a lot more options and that's partially why it tends to fail more often than not so what i'm thinking is we'll grab this vanity gaps right here this um this 2020 patch now i'm not going to grab the the c fax patch or anything like that i don't think we'll need it but i hope this patch actually breaks so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and save it okay now that we got that patch downloaded, let's verify that we have it. It is right there, okay? And next thing we need to do is we need to patch this thing, right? Now, to, I'm using New Shell right now. I am going to actually switch over to Bash uh, simply because New Shell is kind of weird with the uh, patch command. Let's just going to go ahead, go over to DWM, and then the way that we patch, of course, is patch, and you give it minus P1, and then you give it where the patch is located on your file system so mine is nixos and then it is under suckless and it is under patches and then it is under dwm and the first patch i'm going to do is this auto patch or auto start diff okay that patch succeeded right that's right there it succeeded it's fine okay now what about this vanity gaps patch I'm really hoping this patch breaks. If it doesn't break, um, I will get something else until uh, we do see a break. Um, so vanity, right here. Same command. So we have a failure. Good. This is what we wanted. We wanted a failure. So, as you can see right here, we got the config.def.h. It patched just fine. However, when it went to patch this dwm.c file right here, you can see that hunk 3 failed at line 255, okay? And it tells you at the very, very bottom here, one out of six hunks failed, saving rejects to the file, and it tells you the file name that it's saved, okay? This is very important because this is the file that we're going to open up in our favorite text editor and see what we need to manually add. Okay, all right, 
So it says right there, saving rejects to dwm.c.reject. All right. So I'm going to open up this in NeoVim. So dwm.c.rej. Boom. So you can see this green line right here, right? You see how it has this plus sign right here? This tells us that that's the line that did not get put into our dwm.c file. Okay. Now, how do I know it's dwm.c that, that failed? Well, number one, I paid attention to the prompt. But number two, you can go down here and when you open up that, the, the reject file, whatever reject file that it gives you, that's the file that messed up. So you, if you get rid of the reject, you can see it would be dwm.c, right? So I can do a vertical split. And I'll say dwm.c. Boom. All right. And I'm going to get a warning about ceiling. Don't really worry about that. All right. But you can see we need to put this static int enable gaps equals one. And they want they want us to put it right um, right after static int bh. Okay. So if we search, I'm going to do static and bh right here okay and it wants us it wants to do it right here and you can even see that it says static int lr pad right there okay so we can do static int enable gaps equals one that's it <laughs> All right, so if I write and quit this, and next I need to configure, um, I need to configure this dwm.c file super fast because this is a new copy and uh, I don't have the st terminal installed. Okay, but same thing. So if I want um, mod, mod 4 mask that's using the super key as our. Um, as our mod key that's pretty basic stuff right and then i will put the terminal i'll just make this a kitty we write that and then let me make sure make sure all this stuff is okay so there's all of our gap stuff right there you can see the functions right there all right cool that's done pretty much now this is where it's going to be different if you're on nix os or if you're on a standard Linux distribution, right? So what you would do if you was on Nix OS is you would um, you would have everything in your configuration.nix, okay? And then you would have configuration.nix. What it would do then is it would actually compile uh, DWM for you, okay? So this is the only this is the only difference, right? And I'm gonna get some collision detections because of uh, ECC and all that stuff, but it's all good. All right, boom, done. And now the only thing I would do is I would restart DWM, and all the the patches and everything that I just stuck in, they would work. Okay, let's go ahead and flip over to Gen two, and I'll show you the same exact thing, but I will show you how to do it in a more traditional Linux setup. All right. Now that I'm here on Gen 2, let's go ahead and flip over to the desktop. I'm going to get clone DWM, and then I will download a couple patches, and then we'll start the patching process here on a more traditional Linux distribution. All right, now that we are on the desktop here, let me go ahead and get clone DWM, and it's get clone uh, HTTPS, and it's get dot suckless org dwm let this clone i actually downloaded a couple of different patches here i downloaded the uh, auto start patch the per tag patch so auto start allows me to auto start uh applications and then the per tag will keep the like the same layout per tag um because by default dwm is kind of weird and whatever layout you have on um, like 
on your tag one will be the same layout that you have on tag two, tag three. And I always like to have different layouts per tag. And then the vanity gaps patch, again, it's just aesthetics, it's just gaps. And then warp, because I use a multiple monitor setup, um, I do like to have that warp patch because when I switch to a different monitor, it will warp my, uh, my mouse cursor to that monitor. All right, so let's go ahead and patch this thing. Now, patching is the same, it, the way that you patch on NixOS is the same way that you patch here on Gen 2 or any other Linux distro. You just uh, use the patch command and start patching. So we'll do auto start first. That's going to succeed. All right. And then the next patch we'll do is, I'll do per tag here. Per tag succeeded. Good, good. Um, go up. I'll do warp. <laughs> warp succeeded. All right, it, will one of these fail? <laughs> I I'm gonna go ahead and take a guess, and I'm gonna say this vanity gaps patch will uh will fail again. Um, but that's okay. So vanity gaps again. Vanity gaps failed. All right, we already know what to do because we've done it on NixOS. But let's go ahead and do it again. So I'm going to open up this in NeoVim. And, of course, that's the DWM.C uh, reject file right here. Okay. And then we can do a vertical split uh, DWM.C. And then I will do, I will try to look for this. So it's static int. LR pad. So it's gonna be it's gonna be right here, right? So we can just enter in static int enable gaps equals one. Okay. And now we right and quit that. We get out of that. So now that that's good, let me go ahead and download one more patch because I really want to show you guys. I, I don't feel like that was enough. That's just one. So I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and find a better patch that's gonna fail with multiple lines to give you guys a better idea. So I got another patch here. Um, we're gonna do try this DWM uh, scratch pad patch. Figure the scratch pad patch might uh, might actually work. Well, it might fail, but you know, let's let's try that. Oh, sweet, we got. Two, no, we got, we only got one failure again, but this is a different failure, which means that we can kind of learn from this, right? So this failure, instead of failing from the dwm.c file, this is actually failing at the config.def file, okay? So again, it wants you to open up config.def.h.reg. All right, so let's open up this reject file to see what we need to add here. And you can see this plus sign. This plus sign right here usually tells us what we need to personally add. And all it looks like that we need to add is, it wants us to add, I guess my, my D menu command is not working right. This one might actually be a little bit different. <laughs> all right, but it's all right. We'll, we'll look at it. Uh, it's, uh, so it's config config.def.h all right so let's let's look at this because it looks like it added the patch correctly it does look like it added because there is the patch right there so there's a structure of the um of the scratch pad if you don't know what scratch pad is basically it's just a command that you can you can make a a keybind pull down like a terminal or something like that and you can kind of hide it and toggle it back and forth and stuff like that you can also set it to do all kinds of stuff like any program that you pretty much want all right so that looks all right that looks right now it does mess up with the uh the rules but the rules look correct um on there I need to fix this this mod though, right? So the mod is right. All right, so I'm going to show you how to manually look at the look at a patch as well here in a second. 
just to verify because this is kind of confusing it's talking about some kind of keys right here and what it wants is this d menu command i'm pretty sure but it's right here i mean everything everything works here's what i'm going to do since we really don't fully know like what it's what it's trying to add or whatever we can try and make it and if we make it or if we don't make it then we'll know uh what fails make see and make make it worked worked fine okay that's fine then um and then how we install it pretty much on a standard linux distribution is we just do make and then we s u into root all right type in our root password and we can do make install pretty much like that then we would reboot dwm and it would work i don't know why it gave that error um with the configuration.def.h but it made perfectly fine and i didn't personally see anything wrong with it um maybe that's just a bug with the uh, patch command but everything here in this file right here um was present in the configuration.def.h file all right so hopefully this just gives you an idea of like how to patch dwm it's not that big of a deal okay you can look at these patches also if you really just want to look at the patches themselves rather than looking at reject files you can actually look at the uh the diff files all right so we can do dwm auto start and you can go through here and you can look at everything that it's doing right and where you see all these pluses that's what's going to get added by the uh, by the patch. Now, the patch command, for the most part, it does work correctly. Um, but every once in a while, you know, it expects certain lines of code to be there. And if that, that code is not there or if it's not present in a specific um, way or whatever um, on a specific line, then it will fail. So I do hope this video helps you guys look. I, I get it, DWM can be a pain in the butt once you start piling on patches and you pile it on, pile it on. But honestly, if you just take your time, go through. Those reject files are incredible. They are incredible help, and they it really will tell you exactly what you're missing inside of that specific file. Now, what I will say about DWM in general is that once you hit about seven, eight patches, um, that's when DWM starts to become kind of spicy and um, it starts to become a little tougher to, uh, to make sure that all the patches that you've selected play nicely with each other. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them down below. I'd like to hear from you guys. Also, Every Friday at 7 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time, I stream over there on Twitch. It's twitch.tv slash linuxtechgeek. And um, I've been learning a little bit of Go. I've been failing a lot with Go, and it's been a lot of fun, actually. So, uh, yeah, check me out over there on Twitch. Stop by, say hi. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching again. Until next time, you guys take care, be safe, and peace. Bye, guys.